Amanda Loy never imagined she'd be battling the Alaska elements on her runs instead of battling her disease. Amanda was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS, the form that comes and goes in sporadic episodes, bringing her life to a sudden halt. Both of my arms went numb and I wasn't really able to use them well. Every month she underwent a drug infusion and took half a dozen other medications. But her symptoms just got worse. And I started having bladder problems and my balance was really bad, requiring the cane more often. So Amanda traveled almost 3,000 miles to Chicago to participate in a trial with the hope of stopping the disease in its tracks. Transplant ended up being markedly superior in all the parameters we looked at. Dr. Richard Burt led the international trial at Northwestern School of Medicine. A patient's own stem cells are collected and stored. During a two-week stay in the hospital, high-dose chemo is given to wipe out the immune system. Then the stem cells are infused back into the patient to reboot the body's immune system. I knew that I couldn't just keep going the way that, that I was going. Trudy Manderfield was just 23 when she received her diagnosis. In 2013, with an infant daughter, she was ready to try the new treatment. Were you scared? Very. More excited, though, than scared. Any procedure will have a side effect of death. As a new mom, I'm going, okay, well, <laughs> that would be bad. But um, I knew that I had to give it a shot. Trudy is doing well, but she still has occasional symptoms and is off MS medications. Amanda is also off MS medications. She plans to head back to Chicago to run the city's marathon in October. And it turns out the transplant might not be a permanent fix. There are serious risks like infertility, infection, and in some cases, even death.